Oh, ding dong, the witch, the bitch, the DC Extended Universe is dead, irrelevant, a faded memory in the limelight, tarnished, never coming back, complete garbage, every unimaginable bad and negative thing you can think of, the DC Extended Universe is never coming back. But guess what? There's always a chance. Because after that failed superhero team up from the Justice League, there's always Batman Ninja. That's right, there was a trailer released on Batman Ninja and it looked pretty good. Batman in feudal Japan with swords. That looks fucking hype. That looks fucking amazing. That looks like it's something actually worth the price of admission. DC, get on that bandwagon of making your animated movies on the silver screen. You will do well there. Marvel isn't even trying to make animated films anymore, but they do have that Sony Spider-Man thing that's happening, but I think that's more of a Sony project coming out in 2018. But yeah, so this is the perfect time for DC to capitalize in what better way to capitalize with what if stories, good ideas, stuff like that. And this looks pretty cool. I saw some stuff in the trailer and it seems like some of the characters have been transported back to feudal Japan and they are taking the roles of certain characters in history like the Joker is starting to become Nobunaga Oda. If his hair, facial features, his mustache, how he acts, the whole dictator-like personality that's being inflicted on the Joker now, if that isn't a clear enough indicator that he is morphing into Nobunaga Oda from popular fiction, then of course the dead giveaway is when he calls himself the Devil King, which is pretty much standard Devil King, Demon King. People associate that quite to contrary belief in popular culture with Nobunaga Oda. There's also some people who are reminiscent or taking over roles like Deathstroke. He looks like Masamune Date. He has the whole helmet, the way it's shaped with a crescent going up and down. Also, it seems like my man Deathstroke traded in that fine, nice, modernized weaponry for something a little bit more antique and akin to this time period. It looks interesting because I never really see multiple barrels, especially on feudal Japan style weapons where my knowledge is very nil on these. I just remember the good old flintlock rifle. However, I did see some diagrams. I did see artwork. I did see blueprints of the Japanese experimenting with multiple barrel weapons. So it's quite interesting to see this in this movie. I'm quite intrigued to see how they present all the weapons, the armor and everything. You got Batman. He's sort of suiting up like a samurai. So it kind of makes the whole Batman ninja thing a little bit weird. It kind of reminds me of Ghost of Tsushima where it seems like the guy is a samurai of course and the whole goal of that game is being a samurai living that life during an evasion but you turn into a ninja as a superpower so maybe I don't know ninja refers to the fact that Batman was indeed trained in the League of Shadows that focus on ninja like tactics sneaking around infiltration so I think that's going to be a key point of this movie when it comes to the Batman character and how he does things also I noticed that Robin's hair now it looks very reminiscent of Lone Wolf and Cub if you haven't seen it there's a baby in that particular sort of story arc and his hair is like shaved off at the sides it's super weird he looks like a fucking Fu Manchu style Chia pet right <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so he, he does look like a fucking shaved Chia Pet. And his hair is all cut off. I thought it was weird, but I think that's the throwback to Lone Wolf and Cub with the way he looks. I, it's just very interesting. Like, I'm very curious to see where the Rose Gallery, the Batman villains, and the characters in particular are going to fit in these roles when it comes to what role will they take that was distinct from the feudal Japan era. And I think that's going to be something worth figuring out. I think when it comes to DC animated movies in general, they have the guy who made Jojo making this Batman Ninja project. They have the guy who also, I think he worked on, it's a guy who worked on Jojo and a guy who worked on Psychopaths and they're coming together for this big collaboration. So 
I mean, the DC Extended Universe, this is why I just am not really hyped up for DC live action stuff. It seems like when it comes to animation, they have much better shorts, they have much better presentation, they have much better ideas. I think honestly they should scrap the DC Extended Universe because at this point I mean they're just losing money now to bigger movies from Marvel like Thor Ragnarok. So why even bother? Focus on what you do best and I think they do animated movies the best. I mean, there's no competition there. Marvel doesn't do a lot of animated movies as they used to anymore. The really good one I remember is Planet Hulk and that's it. But other than that, I would say for the most part, DC should bring some of these movies to the silver screen, you know? They did the same thing with, I believe it was The Killing Joke, and they brought that to the silver screen in limited theaters. So I don't know why they don't just go worldwide fuck it people love seeing animated movies just put it out there make the best quality you can i think batman ninja is also getting a sub and dub so that's good i just want to see more creativity with their live action stuff and i'm not being provided this with you know waiting around to see the next big thing and the next big thing from dc for the dceu is going to be aquaman and I'm gonna be honest, I never really care for Aquaman that much, so shoot me right now, all that stuff, but I think DC animated movies are superior, they are entertaining, they really understand some of the concepts. I did say earlier, they're not perfect. No, 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 sir, they're not perfect. That first 30 minutes of The Killing Joke. What the fuck? Independent, jive-ass, SJW woman ain't taking no shit, Batgirl bullshit filler. 30 minutes of this! 30 minutes of my life wasted on filler garbage where Barbara Gordon, a possible daughter figure sometime in the comics if you read The Killing Joke, she's pretty much practically like someone that Bruce watches over someone that Gordon loves sincerely and Batman fucks her in the movie a daughter figure and there's gargoyles watching and watching and watching and watching and is so awkward that the next scene is her spilling her guts to a gay guy See, this is the stuff that they should put on the cutting room floor. If you're adapting something, please don't ruin it. They adapted Superman Doomsday and it was so off base with the comics. They adapted Killing Joke and they wasted 30 minutes of my time to get to the core of the comic, to get to the meat of what's going on. And this is stuff they shouldn't do it's certain it seems like with DC when they take a liberty it turns out to be shit sometimes I think if they stay on point you know make the animation a little bit better because in Killing Joke it was not that great so try not to make subpar animation but it seems like you know people are saying hey Batman Ninja it looks like Berserk okay 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 Art wise, it looks similar. I can see people saying that, but it's not stop motion bullshit to me. It looks like something interesting to watch. Yes, DC, they have some sort of weird hit or miss categories here or there, but mostly their animated movies are hits to me. I think they put in a lot of effort. I think they adopt a lot of stuff that people tend to love over the live action fluff. And that's why I said, they need to focus on this. They really need to bring, if they bring more captivating ideas, I think I'm just done with watching like DC live action movies because they're starting not to entertain me compared to the DC AU. The DC animated verse, that's where it's at. This live action stuff, I think if it gets worse, I think if Aquaman fails, I think if Green Lantern Corps just doesn't do well, Cyborg has a solo movie, they don't seem to be releasing much in terms of competition next year. Only Aquaman. Marvel has Ant-Man and the Wasp. They have Avengers Infinity War. And they also have Black Panther coming out next year. 
Three movies versus one. Cut your fucking losses if that's the case. I mean, seriously. It's it's not even worth bothering, but this is Warner Brothers. You know they're not going to. This is DC. You know they're not going to. They seem to be a stick in the mud and stubborn and determined. I don't know. I mean, something has to give, and I think maybe Ben Affleck walking as Batman because he keeps going back and forth saying, oh, I might be Batman, I might not. No one knows at this fucking rate. No one fucking knows. But I think if he walks... That might set a precedent and people might actually say, oh shit. You know, the, the fucking stockholders, they might say, oh shit, we actually have to do something because we lost big talent. And I think they should, you know, use that time to go back to the drawing board, reevaluate and see what type of life can they interject into the DC Extended Universe and if they cannot do that, if they cannot figure out a good plan, drop it like a hot potato. Seriously. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and ramble. Batman Ninja looks hype. I saw some other people in the trailer. You ha you really you really have to pause that trailer to see the characters and stuff because of course while they have makeovers, I saw Poison Ivy, I saw Penguin, Two Face, Red Hood is in there. Deathstroke, you really have to, there's a, there's a gallery here, and I think they really put the time into this movie to make it look pretty done, well done, well done, well fucking done, and uh, I definitely want to see it next year, I, I, I'm saying all this, you know, unedited, I, I am really just this excited for the DC Animated Universe, I'm even excited for all the other movies coming out, like Gotham by Gaslight, you know, Jack the Ripper versus Batman. Death of Superman, they're redoing it. I'm so glad they're redoing it because Superman Doomsday was a bridge shit. I mean, it is what it is, people. It was a bridge nonsense. Where is him fighting the Justice League? I'm not even going to get into that. I'm, I'm going to end this video right now because I'm going on and on. Anyway, I just wanted to say... While I did mention that you can love DC and Marvel, there's no denying that there are sectors where DC and Marvel do well at, and there are sectors where DC and Marvel aren't the greatest. Marvel Comics, SJW nonsense. It sucks now. Marvel Comics themselves, they suck. Terrible. Garbage, man. Please a fucking delivery boy. Really? Marvel movies? They can be good. I think the Netflix shows, they are starting to decline in quality, I think, for DC. I haven't seen a really good DC show, but a lot of people say they are mixed as far as the reception goes. A lot of people tend to gravitate towards Arrow or Flash, so yeah, uh, a lot of stuff like Gotham is mixed. I also think that DC, their live action movies now are not that good, but their comics are still pretty dope still pretty strong with the exception of you know white knight but i'm not gonna get into why i don't like that but anyway i mean there's rebirth rebirth is really good there's also the animated movies i mean i watched a slew of them with the infinite ammo syndicate and i really like i said once again did enjoy them so i just think there needs to be some compromise or some sort of acknowledgement if you know something isn't going well and there is a problem you fix it right if there is a problem you fix it you go out and you fix that motherfucker you be that motherfucking plumber you be fucking super mario odyssey with whatever you're doing you don't be shit like i don't know some knockoff tiger electronics mario game that no one gives a shit about but somehow you get funding that's not how you do things and that was a weird analogy, but you know, I'm just rambling once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Batman Ninja, go see it next year. I will be seeing it. It looks dope. Once again, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying the fucking facts. I think this is going to be a real talk too, so uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this shit. This is so spontaneous for me. So out of place that I had to make a video about my excitement of DC animated movies. I just feel like it was something to talk about. So I will see you guys next time. Renegade Operative signing out. Later.